to our left over there, you see that flat land. Well, that was the end of the line for the <clears throat> for the Virginia City Truckee Railroad. That started in uh, 1869 and stayed till 1939. In 1872, they connected with the Central Pacific Railroad, and that ran from uh, 1872 until 1950. That train used to make between 30 and 45 trips a day. This red building on the left is uh, the, was the depot that the warehouse all the freight that was going in back and forth from Reno to, Car to Carson City. Now on the right, all this dirt here, this, this block and the next block was a red light district. They used to have little small houses there that were, that were called cribs, much like you call a baby crib. He didn't have a time to himself. He started working in the mines. 
1874, John was still here working, working uh, around, and uh, but he wasn't working in the mines anymore. He owned them. He owned three of them. He was bringing in three hundred thousand dollars a month. Now John was in partners with uh, three other people. James Fair, James Flood, and William O'Brien. Now they were called the Bonanza King, the Bonanza Firm. They were also known as the Silver Kings. All four of them were multi-millionaires, but John Mackey had the most money uh, and lived the longest. In, eight, in 1902, when John passed away, his net worth was, made, uh, was worth $80 million. That's a lot of money back then. Coming up on the left is the Mackey Mansion. Now Mackey's granddaughter, Ellen, in 1926 got married to Irving Berlin, the uh, composer, producer.
Now, a million dollars in uh, gold and silver. I told you this is my main voyage. Please forgive me. They have gold painting down there, usually open from 1 o'clock to 4 o'clock in the afternoon. It's going to get a little noisy, so I'll shut this off and talk to you when I get to the top.